Hi, my name is Brian DeLuca from Insomnia Cat Media and thanks for joining us again today. Today we're going to talk about how a specific event or date could actually help you drive traffic to your website. Now every industry is different and there are various different dates and different industries that actually are trigger points that could help you actually drive traffic. Now for instance, recently we've been working with a company that was in the fantasy sports uh, arena and what was really interesting about them is one of their best ranking keywords was MLK Day. Why is that? Well, on MLK Day, a lot of people are looking for what schedules, the schedules of sporting events on that day. So they would drive a lot of traffic from MLK Day. But it's not even so much a date sometimes. Sometimes it's an event. So if you look at it in the B2B sector and you Google something and you look for things like CES, you can see oh, there is a lot of traffic around CES when, for those of you who don't know, it's a consumer electronics show, which is one of the biggest electronics shows in the world. Now, what happens is what around CES, you see this really cool traffic pattern. You see maybe a month or two before the traffic starts picking up, but it's very, very slight. And all of a sudden, January hits when CES happens, and there's a huge, massive spike in the amount of traffic or amount of searches people are doing around CES. And we see it peter off real, real quick. And then what happens is it plateaus again and it drops again. You know, and then pretty much for about you know nine months out of the year, the search terms are completely flat around CES. It's, it's almost as everyone forgets about it. So how do you actually go and create content? What do you need to do to create content to capture something like CES, as well as you know a, a, a date or a, you know event like MLK Day, where there's a lot of events taking place on that? Well, here's what you need to do. One, you want to use a tool like Google Trends that lets you actually know when users are actually doing searches for things like CES or sports schedules on MLK Day. Two, you want to create those articles and those landing pages before the actual event starts even picking up in traffic. Three, during the event, you need to create content and constantly update it so users know to come back and visit either those landing pages or those sections of your sites or to gain more traffic around it. Four, if you have a subscription list, make sure you're emailing those people while those events and while that real-time content is being created, whether it's articles, videos, whatever the case is, make sure those users are aware or even using push notifications through your website or through other notifications works perfectly in order to make sure users are engaged during those events because that's the highest likelihood of when they're going to click through on things like those events. Four, make sure you also have a close to the event. So once the event is over or there are results for that event, make sure you summarize those and create more content around the results. So when you take all these things, you're able to, you're able to really capitalize on a specific event or specific date going on in the industry. Well, thanks for joining us today. Make sure you subscribe to Insomnicat and we look forward to uh, talking to you in the future. Thank you.